Hi guys and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. We're continuing on our coverage of the recently released Intel Skylake CPU platform with another model of motherboard that supports it, the Astrox Z170 Extreme 4. This model falls into their higher-end portfolio for the Z170 chips series, but with a little bit of a lower price since it has less features compared to the rest of the models in front of it, like the Extreme 6 or ones from the Fatality series. As you can notice, the Astrox product box design has changed a lot since the last generation. The front of it is pretty straightforward with a big product name on the bottom, and above it, well, you decide on that what it is. Going to the back of the box, we have all the main features laid out with details about them, like the USB 3.1 support, high quality motherboard components and M.2 slot, as well as a picture of the motherboard and a list of its technical specifications. Last but not least, a true highlight of this backside comes in this pretty weird awkward picture of what seems to be a common or ideal type of user for this motherboard. Opening up the box, inside it you'll find the usual suspects, user manual with optical disc with drivers and software, SLI bridge, 4 SATA cables, IR shield and a screw for the M.2 module and of course the motherboard itself. As with the product box, Astrock also went with a different style and an overall reconstruction of the visual design of the motherboard. This generation of Extreme Series is dominated by the black matte color scheme with a hint of brownish gold on the passive heatsinks for the chipset and power design, as well as on the Purity Sound 3 audio circuitry, which contains separated shielding, Realtek LC1150 audio codec, Texas Instruments headphone amp, and high quality Nishikon audio caps. Moving back to the more usual components, as you can notice the board has three physical PCI Express X16 slots with which it's possible to do a three-way crossfire configuration at X8, X8, X4 speeds, while for the SLI you can only do two-way X8, X8 configuration. Beside them we have three PCI Express X1 slots, all being the 3.0 standard. Hidden between the slots you'll find one M.2 slot for up to 110mm modules and with 32 gigabits of total bandwidth. Going around the motherboard in terms of the unique features you'll find a dedicated power on and reset button together with the BIOS post LED screen. In that bottom corner you can also see one SATA Express connector consisting of two SATA 3 ports as well as a BIOS switch to toggle between the main and the backup one. The rest of the SATA configuration consists out of four SATA ports combined into two SATA Express ports and next to them on the right outer edge of the motherboard you will also see USB 3 header and the 24 pin ATX power connector while the 8 pin EPS power connector is well hidden in the top left corner between the armor shield for the IO and the passive heatsink for the power circuitry. Speaking of it, Astrock took care of power circuitry with beefy 10-phase power design consisting out of Nishikan 12K platinum caps and high-quality MOSFETs. Right next to it and to the CPU socket itself we have a 4-slot DIMM configuration for DDR4 RAM and it's up to 3866 MHz 64GB memory support. Up there you can also see the CPU and TPU fan header together with the rest of them scattered around the motherboard while the other types of headers are placed on the usual bottom side of the motherboard. IO back panel of the motherboard keeps the interesting features still coming, mostly because of the USB 3.1 support through Type-C and also Type-A connector, kudos to Astrock for that. The rest of the setup is pretty standard with 6 USB 3 ports, PS2 combo, DVI-D, HDMI and DisplayPort video outputs, Gigabit LAN port and an analog digital audio input-output set of connections. Thank you once again guys for checking out our unboxing and preview of the Astrox Z170 Extreme 4 motherboard. Feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our Tactic YouTube channel or you can check out our other videos from before.